Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, so, uh, my friend who is the Stampin' Up rep, um, she stopped by yesterday with my order from uh, this month's uh, card club. And so I thought I would share those uh, with you guys. And um, there's a little peek of it over here, but I'm going to pull these down into my lap. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, I'm sure some of y'all noticed my nails are really short. I actually, it doesn't happen often, but I had to break like, like way down low. And so I went ahead and cut them all down and they're actually going to be short for a little while because I also have a huge like nick on the side here. So I kind of keep them short until like all the, I guess, defects are out and then I let them grow back out because then there's no weakness. I only share that because a lot of y'all ask me uh, if I do anything special for my for my hands and my nails and um, that's it I just really try to maintain like any nicks or anything like that I don't do any special vitamins or but just letting y'all know because some of y'all have asked um, but they're gonna be short probably for a few weeks until um, I'm pretty sure that they're not gonna you know uh, crack on me because let me tell you when they do they they always tend to rip down into the quick and <laughs> that hurts but anyway y'all are here for the stampin up and I'm gonna start with the 12 by 12 paper that I got it's not a big order but because of the paper um it might run a little long so and I gotta tell you, I'm I'm so happy with these two that I'm gonna order some more of it because um, the one it just screams vintage and I love it, uh, which is this one little sneak peek there. But the first one I got is called uh, Plush Poinsettia Specialty Paper, and I think this one was kind of pricey. It was uh, if I can read it on here. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, this was $11. So I'm definitely going to order more of this. Um, let's open it up. My friend was like, she was, didn't really pay it any attention in her catalog. And then when she saw this, she's like, oh my gosh, I got to order that. But they're flopped, basically. So they have that really soft... Uh, feel to them there's I think three yeah there's only it's only six sheets of paper so technically it is expensive but uh, if you can see that it is so pretty and it's so soft um, but it's flocked vellum and it's a really thick I really like the uh, thickness of the vellum so there's that one so it's like holly berries and leaves then you have this one, two sheets of the poinsettias. Super, super pretty. Just, it's just such a neat feel to the paper. So there's that one. And then this last one is kind of like, I call it white raw iron. You know, like you see that pretty raw, those pretty raw iron patterns. But it's white. Uh, so there's that. So I guess that one was quick. So I'm going to put that back on top, set these off to the side. Um, this next one is called Wonder of the Season Specialty Designer Series. And I think this was the one I thought, uh, yeah, this one was $15. I've never paid $15 for any of Stampin' Up! paper, but, um, this one is, I think this one's in, it's foiled. Yeah, it's partially foiled. Yeah, okay. But I'm already loving this. 
So I think I'm going to pick up one more pack of this one as well. So they're double sided and you get two, I believe, of each color. So you'll see what I mean. So you have two of the gold foil. So you've got the pretty gold foiling on this side and it's like old advertising. Look at that. Peppermint pavers. Straight from Candy Cane Forest, we hop we harvest the best peppermint for your paving needs. <laughs> Add curb appeal to your cottage with a custom candy walkway or peppermint patio. Contact Peppy to schedule a consultation. Um, reindeer board games. Our board games are anything but boring. Elf Escape has become a favorite at our house for a weekly night uh, game night. It's a new adventure every time. Holly. So super, super adorable. And then there's basically a Christmas story on the back. So, so there's that one. And then here's, this is upside down. So it's basically kind of like the same advertisements, but they're like, I guess positioned a little differently so like you can see like the Christmas trees down here but on the red it's up top and the reindeer is on here but there's two reindeer games on this one so so yeah it's a little different uh, Silver Bells Choir auditions keep the Christmas spirit all year long by joining the Silver Bells Choir choir this year, we'd love to add some alto and bass to our harmonies. Contact Candy for information. Upon a housetop roofing. I think this is so funny. And then um, you have recipes on the back. It will kind of be interesting to make them. This one I want to say is... I think it's French. I'm not sure. I, I've never taken French, so... I think that's French. I think this is German. Then we have Santa's hot chocolate. Claus's, Mrs. Claus's cheese fondue. So really cute. Uh, Schwartz Wurzel in Ingwer Suppe. <laughs> uh, definitely German. Salt dough for handmade ornaments. That would be fun to try if they're real. But, uh, so anyway, so there's the red, and it's a gorgeous red. Love it. Then we have... Hmm. So it looks like they're the reverse then, because the recipes are on the back here. But here we have recipes... Come on in the red foiling but again you know they kind of move it around and then you have kind of like newspaper stories on the back of this one non-foiled <coughs> then we have kind of like a newspaper print that got cut wrong <laughs> so it's like on purpose and so foiling on this one, sale on Rudolph and Co. Three euros a barrel, reindeer feed, red-nosed quality North Pole granary. Uh, these are just too fun. And then we have another story on the back, but it is in a cursive script. And then we have two more sets here. Is that right? Yeah. So now we have, uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And, um, <clears throat> again, just more kind of like newsletters or something like that. And the pretty gold. <clears throat> more newsprint on the back. Non-foiled. <clears throat> and then we have the story now that is foiled. Um... And then a newsprint on the back, non-foiled. So, I... 
really like this and so I'm definitely going to order another one of these. There was another Christmas paper that I wanted to get but I'd already kind of like the order was already a little higher than I wanted to spend so I kind of had to stop. Then <clears throat> I got this 6x6 six six pad and I don't know why for some reason I was thinking it was a 12x12 12 12. so I'm going to have to look because I normally don't do 6x6 six six. and this is <clears throat> Tis the Season Designer Series. This was $11.50 for this 6x6 pad. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and I, I usually don't like to open paper until I'm getting ready to use it. Because usually after you open it, then it gets all, you know, dinged and messed up and... Oh, come on. I'm recording this Friday night so that y'all can watch it Saturday. Um, Saturday, as I already mentioned, I'm helping, going with my daughter to help her buy her first car um, all by herself. Um, she's very excited and I'm just going to make sure she doesn't uh, make any financing mistakes. So, let's see. I believe you get four... Yeah, you get four of each pattern. So you get these candy canes on one side. I really like this. Then you have mistletoe on the other. <clears throat> then we just have like a green on green kind of like quilt pattern. And then a red on white, uh, like swirly, swirly. I don't know what you want to call that. So there's that one. We have another green on green, and then I think that's really pretty. I, th I think that that is mistletoe, so love that. Yeah, that's mistletoe because <clears throat> we also have this mistletoe, and I love this side as well. Really pretty Christmas colors in this collection. More green on green. Then we have the holly berry red on red. Then we have the, I don't know, fir? Douglas fir? I don't know the different Christmas trees, but I think those are pretty. And then we have another swirly, swirly. <clears throat> I'm feeling okay at the moment because I just took medicine about an hour ago, so it's working. <laughs> So, we have some Jingle Bells with some Holly Berry and then some Red on Red. And then these are uh, Reindeer. Some more Red on Red with the Mistletoe. Got a nice plaid going on. And then I, I just love the color combinations on this. To me, it's like the traditional green, traditional red. Uh, really love it. <clears throat> Here we have some candy canes. And just some more swirly swirls. I don't know what you want to call them. They kind of look like uh, wallpaper. And... Holly berries, some red on red, and then the last four, uh, like just branches from the tree, and some more red on red. So, I guess, you know, I guess that's not bad. I just don't like six by six because if I need something bigger, then I'm kind of, you know, out of luck. At least with 12 by 12s, you can customize the sizes you need. So there's that. Then <clears throat> I actually broke down and got a gnome stamp set. Uh, I know everybody's been freaking out over gnomes the last year, this year, but it really hasn't been a thing for me. But we, uh, we made some cards 
and <clears throat> I decided to put gnomes on mine. And these guys are so darn cute. I'm not a big fan of the girl. Um, uh, everybody else used the girl on theirs. I preferred the guys on my cards. I just thought they were cuter. Um, so there's no place like gnome for Christmas season. You're a friend like gnome other. A little Christmas wish and holly jolly everything. So I just thought that was adorable. And then, um, so when we go to card club, you know, she supplies everything and then we make our cards. And then usually based on what I make, I decide what I'm going to buy. And so, like I said, I made a card using this set. She had like six or eight different sets out. And I went ahead and went for the gnomes. And then, um, I really liked these bows wrapped especially for you. Tied with love, a very merry Christmas, celebrate in style, and um, these are true to size. And then these bows here, I got the bundle, so I got the matching um, punch. And I probably should have brought the cards up to share with you what I made, uh, but I didn't think about it, so. I think the next video I do, what I'll do is at the end of the video, I'll share the cards so that you guys can see them. Uh, but yeah, so I got the coordinating punch because I really liked the bows. And um, while I don't mind fussy cutting, sometimes you're just in a hurry. You know what I mean? And um, so I got that. And... That's it. That's all I got for Stampin' Up! Uh, this month. Um, I'm going to be putting in a close to my heart order soon. Just because I need to pick up a few things. Um, let's see. Do I have any miscellaneous to share? I don't. Yes, I do. I got in a new... A house mouse Christmas house mouse and this one is called making a snow mouse you can't see it very well but the details are uh, the details show up more after you do the stamping and the coloring so really really cute and of course it's a Stampa Rosa y'all know how much I love Stampa Rosa so I was happy to get that and I got a new piece to my B. Clyburn collection. This is going to go live in one of the guest rooms. Um, I think a lot of y'all know how I fell in love with B. Clyburn. It was always so much fun to go to my grandparents' house because there was always... To me it was like, always like a house of wonder. They always had something neat in the house and um so I always loved going over there because they, they I just wrote my grandparents and they still are fun and they're in their late 80s now but my whole life they've just been fun and still are and so I just want now it's got a little I'm missing a little color there but I think I can fix that but I just want my house when I have grandkids because it's going to be a little while when the grandkids come I want them to enjoy coming and looking forward to coming and I think stuff like this is fun um, I know I would have loved it as a kid I still love it as an adult so I'm um, obviously um, but my new B. Clyburn, um acquisition so so there's that um, that's it for now. I'm going to start getting ready for bed because tomorrow's going to be a long day at the dealership and I'm not really looking forward to that. So y'all have a great rest of your Saturday. Um, as always, I love you guys to pieces. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, 
Happy crafting. Y'all take care. Bye.